art friends. Welcome back. Today we're going to work on a real cheerful, sunshiny project and it is called Wax Batik. B-A-T-I-K. A, a wax batik is um, the process of dyeing fabric actually. So we're going to kind of do the um, artsy kid version of that but in India and other countries they actually take hot wax in this really cool little tool and they kind of draw with it on the cloth that they are dyeing and then they let that wax cool and they stick this cloth in a big vat or bucket or like a bowl almost of dark beautiful ink and the ink tries to get on all of the material but it cannot penetrate the part that's waxy so the word wax resist and artists over the ages have loved that idea because it's so much fun so not only do artists use wax resist on clothing but we do that on paper too so that leads me to your supplies for today. You need paper. All right, so grab yourself some paper. It can be scrap paper, any kind you want. Um, grab yourself a nice big box of crayons, as many as you have, the older the better. It's a little bit easier to color um, hard with broken crayons and we wanna really get a nice wax on our paper today. So crayons and paper are the main things. Then you're also gonna need a little cup of water, just like the other day and some paint brushes and hopefully you have some watercolor paints um, i'm going to use really dark colors for my um, background so grab some watercolor and some water brushes paper and crayons and meet me back here in just a couple minutes okay pause the video now excellent all right Glad you're back. So let's get started. I already um, made my sun and I colored it very, very hard. I pressed with as much might as I could and I did break a couple of crayons, but that's okay. Broken crayons work great. So um, press hard. It's good for your muscles. It's good for your um, motor skills and your fine motor skills to really give it a little exercise. So give your fingers some exercise and press hard to get the wax on the paper because remember we want the wax to resist the ink that we put on in a minute in our in our um, case it's watercolor but ink would be even better so I'm gonna use blue now and I'm gonna start painting or coloring my sky and I'm gonna just kind of just scribble scrabble it doesn't have to be amazing um, because we're gonna do something very surprising to this little piece of art in just a few minutes. So color, 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 quick as you can, doesn't have to be perfect. It does not matter for this project if everything is exactly perfect. And again, today I have newspaper on my table because Mr. Eichhorst doesn't like me to get crayon on the table. And I bet your parents don't like that either. So, and I know we're all trying our very best as we stay at home to get along so we want to make sure we're keeping your mom and dad super happy so hopefully you are doing that did you make did any of you make your surprise project that we did last earlier this week or this weekend i think is when i recorded it for you um did you make a bookmark for anybody that was really fun i loved doing that and steven still has it mr i course that is in his um, book and he sees it every day and is reminded that I love him so much. So hopefully you did that for somebody as well. I also hope you made a nice little door sign or poster for your healthcare workers in the neighborhood, maybe your family members who are healthcare workers. Yesterday that was a lot of fun making an emoji for them and a little sign. And if you missed it, you can check out my videos on Glitter and Glue with Mrs. I-Course. 
www.ashleyhoffman.com or you can check out um, my videos on YouTube. Glitter and Glue also has a YouTube channel now. So you can watch all my videos, make sure you like them and subscribe to them, share them with other friends from Seminole or from the Anton Art Center. Hi to you all as well, because that's the only way for us all to keep getting these videos. So share them, like them, subscribe to them. All right, so I'm just kind of coloring the corners with this blue and then maybe I will use a different blue for the middles. All right. So while I'm coloring and you're coloring, making a beautiful sunshine, I'm not sure what you're gonna make your rays, what shape you're gonna pick, but I hope you send them to me so I can post them. I saw a picture of Connor in Miss Borton's class. He was coloring and painting yesterday at his easel. Mrs. I, of course, needs an easel so bad. Lee, I will get one very soon. So I saw Connor's doing some art and I know a lot of my other friends are doing art too. Make sure to send it to me because I would love, love, love to post that for our other friends to see. All right, I hope you will. So I'm gonna color this fast as I can. And while I'm coloring, I just wanna tell you how sad I am to hear the news that school will not be opening. I'm really, really praying that they figure out a way to stop this virus and that they say all of a sudden at the end of April, oh, everything's much better, we can get back together. They probably won't, but you never know, boys and girls. Miracles do happen. So I'm really hoping and praying that a miracle happens and that everybody gets well and we can get back together sooner than they think. That's at least my dream. So until then, I'm going to just make lots of videos and demonstrations and talk to you that way. So here we are coloring together, remembering that we miss each other and we love each other and that we'll be together again soon. All right. So I'm working hard, you're working hard, and we are pressing down to get this wax on the paper, right? Couple more spots and then we'll be ready for the surprise. Oh my gosh, this part always a little bit freaks out my art friends. So wait till you see what we're gonna do to this piece of art before we add the color. See, Mrs. Eichhorst is not worrying too much about being perfect, just adding some nice color to the sky. This looks, by the way, great as a moon picture. So those of you that like the moon maybe even better than the sunshine, you could do that, or you could make one of each. That would be so great. So we are just about ready. All right, one more little section, and then I'm going to show you the kind of tricky, scary, freaky, almost April Fool's Day kind of freaky part of this project. All right. So now... I'm finished with the coloring. I have lots and lots of crayon. I pushed very hard. I have lots of wax on my paper. I'm gonna sign it now because once I dye it, I don't think it's gonna be easy to do that. So I'm gonna put my initials right here on the side of the sun and get ready, boys and girls, to crinkle your paper. You're like, what is she? doing? Oh, no, Mrs. Eichhorst. Ah. That's what kids say when I do this. Now I'm going to notice I didn't like do it real harsh because I don't want to rip it. So now I'm going to open this up 
very carefully because I really, like I said, don't want to tear it, but if I do, it's okay. But I'll try not to. All right, so I pull it open and, oh, I did tear it a tiny bit. I was a little bit, maybe too crazy. All right, there it is. Now, one more time, I'm gonna crank all this up. Nice and calm. And you're like, why? This is all poor stuff. But the cool thing about it is that um, when we paint over it now, there's gonna be all kinds of little cracks in our wax. And that will allow the black watercolor or ink or food coloring or whatever you decide to use to get into those cracks and really make a cool design. So let's get started. I'm going to open it very carefully. And if you're having trouble opening it carefully, ask your mom or dad or older brother, sister, grandma or grandpa, hey, can you help me? And I'm sure they will. So I'm going to flip mine over and just smooth it out because I try not to smooth out right on top of the coloring that I just did because I don't want to smear anything. And if you have newspaper on your table, that's super great. And then it will keep your table nice and clean. All right, so check this out. I'm going to get my watercolor and I'm going to move my crayons and my coffee away tempted as I am and I am going to um, dip my I think I'll use my flat brush this time in this um, really dark I don't know what color that is and I'm gonna paint that right on top so water and paint water and paint pretty much every time all right water and paint and I have to paint the whole entire page and what I want to do is get um, the watercolor or if I would be at school I'd be using like an India ink I want to get that in all these little cracks that I just made by crinkling up my paper all right and you can also do this with tempera paint it works great you just have to really water it down and then um, a lot of artists like to then actually wash the tempera paint off. Um, I don't need to do that because mine is super thin and this paper is thin too, so see I even made a little hole, but that's okay. It'll be all right. I'm not at school, I don't have my really good paper on hand. So this is just paper out of my garage, it's scrap paper and it's coming in handy. All right, so don't worry if you have a little mistake like me and maybe you get a little um, hole, it's okay, right? We can tape it. Or we could glue it on another color piece of paper, that would be really pretty, and then it won't even be showing anymore. So I am going around the edges first, and I'm just painting this dark color on top of my crayon. And it's crazy, right? but it's filling in all these little teeny tiny cracks where um, folding up the paper really broke through the wax. So cool, isn't it? All right, so I'm gonna be gentle in this part, this white part because I didn't put any crayon there and the paper is very thin. Okay, that's why I got that one little hole. So water almost every single time. Did you see that? I'm just doing a little bit of water every single time. Did I tell you what else I did this morning? You know how we made those um, healthcare worker thank you notes for the, the front windows. I made a thank you for my mail carrier because I know he comes every single day and brings me the mail, envelopes, letters, packages even things that I'm ordering. He'll bring me, I'm sure, my easel very soon. And um, I appreciate that because he's out there every single day while we're staying at home nice and safe. And he's bringing us um, the things we need. So I put that little thank you in my mailbox. So when he opens the mailbox, he'll be surprised. 
I hope you do that too. I posted it to the Facebook page and I'll make sure that it's on my website too so you can take a peek at what that looks like and hopefully you will do something kind for your mail carrier. All right, even if you have just a little box, I used to have one um, at my other house that was like a community mailbox, but mine still had a little tiny door that I took the key and put in. So when you open that door, you could still have a little thank you note or maybe some little hearts or something in there just to remind your mail carrier that you're super thankful that he is or she is coming. All right, so now I have the outside done and it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? The back even looks cool. So now I'm going to do the middle and for the middle, um, I think I'll still use the same color because I really like this dark indigo color. All right, and I'm going to do it very quickly because I know my time is running out and you have other things to do, books to read, family members to play games with, hopefully. Maybe you're going to help make dinner tonight. I'm thinking we might get pizza. We've been kind of in the mood and we've been waiting and waiting. So we might get pizza tonight. I don't know. Last night we grilled some brats. Those were delicious. So we'll see. All right. So I'm going to just flip it over real quick like, and give it a little back rub. You know, we do that sometimes with glue, don't we? To give it a little bit of stick and so I'm just going to get the extra um, paint or ink off of this and then we're going to take a look see how it is oh and I guess while it's flipped I'll give it a little piece of tape in that spot where I told you I made a hole artists don't mind we just we'll just fix it right it's no problem we don't freak out we stay nice and calm all right so there we have it so what do you think boys and girls isn't that so beautiful? I think it's even better than the one I did alone, probably because we're together. So I'm happy to see you again. Come back soon and do art with me. I miss you and I wish you to be well and happy. All right, see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.